Hello everyone, this is KJ PC, PC Gaming and we are back in No Man's Sky 3.21 today. Uh, it is T-Rex Hatching Day. <laughs> uh, one of the things we also need to do today is set down the nutrient processor and go through the freighter storage and try to find everywhere that I stored bait because it's all been turned into creature pellets. Uh, I bought some ion batteries for Seripti and her baby boy, and we need to check on uh, their progress and see how the babies are doing. What's this say? Ooh, breach, breach, breach. We are in Donacol, and there should be somewhere here to land, I thought. I thought there was someone here to some place here to land. Did I not land? I can't believe hurry I just believe that. Um I did too. Oh, ultra blue. Alright. I don't know where uh, it went to. <laughs> Maybe it's over there by the anomaly. I also need to start doing anomaly missions. I have um, gotten one done anyway. It was just a fight pirates mission. Where in the world did Ultra Blue go? I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I expect everybody to believe that I have one to lose. Oh, good grief. Ultra Blue is a stormless planet, so that's not it. Uh, it's on the other side of that. Oh, I can't tell. Oh, those pirates. I'm going to beat them up. Oh. No, it's not. Um. One. <laughs> One, two, buckle my shoe. All right, look. I don't know where in the world the planet went. It was stolen. planet right there. There is a planet right there. Aha! <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide. Uh, what's this got off awful planet? Oh, it's contoured. It looks black, though, and whenever I see a black planet, I think volcanic or dead. <laughs> I'm not sure how we found a planet that was so well hidden. Must be a direct line of sight from the space station somehow. Or lava found it. Lava did find it, I think. so confused. This is not where Ultra Blue is. There's, that's where Ultra Blue is. Verkas Fusi. Let's go there. <laughs> Although, I don't know why, because uh, I'm really hoping, <clears throat> I swallowed wrong, hang on, <laughs> I'm uh, really, really hoping that, um, there it is, right there, that's ultra blue, it's a purple planet, 
Um, I'm really hoping that um, Wachilla's baby is very colorful because I, I did change the colors. So I uh, went to Zane's World to the pet section and I scrolled up and I found Big Pidge's long list of the different elements and what uh, the colors are possible um, from using those elements. And uh, so I used a whole bunch of ferrite and I think the last thing I used was uh, uranium. So three uh, magnetized ferrite or something like that and then uh, uranium. And I just filled them until they were 100%. Here's my exciting base. <laughs> oh, that's the pet thingy. Uh, there we go. All right. Ah, without further ado, let's get this egg out. And it is, yep, it's ready. Wow, look at the size of it. Oh my God. Euroz, Euroz. Welcome to the world. Euroz has horns. Oh my goodness. Euroz is hungry. <laughs> More food bites. Very colorful. Definitely purple. Red eyes. <laughs> Uh, let's just take a good look here. <laughs> oh, pink eyes even. Ooh, I don't like those eyes at all. They're yucky, gross. Look at that. Look at those horns. Look at the shells. Look at the purple. Let's see what the other side looks like. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, creepy fingers. <laughs> eager. All right. I like eager. There's your Oz, your Oz. Current mood is eager. 75% uh, trust. Uh, aggression is 75%. We brought it down 20%. I was looking for that. Devotion is 23%. Same as uh, mom. Helpfulness is 20%. See, I need to increase that. And I was trying to, but I think I went for lowering the aggression uh, over that. 3.4 meters, 2.9 meters. So uh, 0.5 meters bigger than mom. <laughs> My, what a big head you have. <laughs> Hard to see. That's why I didn't want to do uh, this on Ultra Blue, because it's hard to see. Very fast. Creepy fingers. Funny feet. <laughs> your Oz, your Oz is currently scouting ahead. And coming back. Are you going to scout ahead? Ahead is in front of us, you know. Go ahead. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't care what the baby is going to look like or whatever. Babies are cute, man. <laughs> are you going to find something to do? Those horns are f so funny. Oh, you're gonna find some food, okay. All right, well, yes, you found food, good boy. Um, now the next thing that we need to look at is the age, uh, infant, it says here now, and this one says juvenile. Um, so, and this one says juvenile. So this one's still an infant. Hmm. Do they all have a current mood of eager? They all say eager. All right. 
So we'll have to decide whether to keep uh, mom, who's old and can lay an egg right now and we can try again, or to keep the baby, who's got creepy eyes and a funny face and is very cute, but has weird fingers. <laughs> and same thing with uh, Unaki and Swanee, and we'll also make the decision between Solaripti and Halo. And um, yeah, we just, we have to, oh, it's getting to that time of day. We just have to decide uh, which one, uh, mom or baby, we want to keep. And, um, or if we want to start with something new. Got anything for me? You want something to eat? There you go. <laughs> All right, let's uh, get out, if I can find it, the um, nutrient processor and see how many creature pellets I have. It will be everything that was once baked. And uh, that's a lot more um, than what I had for bait. So we'll just take a little bit out at a time. So all of the individual baits that we had before, um, you know, uh, whatever we had, um, enzyme fluid, all those things, they've all been turned into creature pellets. So if you had a stack of five scented herbs, it's become 25 creature pellets, for instance, in this case. And this must have been like two left in that pile. So that is a ton of creature pellets. And they stack to 25 on permadeath. And uh, I don't yet know what they stack to um, on normal mode, uh, nor do I know where you left my ship, baby. <laughs> this planet is awesome in person. There's the uh, amazing um, ringed planet with all of its colors. So it's uh, awesome in person. Uh, but when it comes to being on video, wow, words are hard today. Um, it's uh, super hard to, to show it off. Boom. All right. Now, one of the things that I've been wanting to do, not just uh, go through all of the food, um, I think all the food is in one container. Um, why is my ship blue? There we go. It's not actually blue. It's the atmosphere, isn't it? It's white with a red stripe. Um, uh, I, but I want to throw away... Um, all of the extra junk that I'm carrying uh, because I don't foresee needing stasis devices again. Although if I have the um, ingredients for a stasis device, I should probably make it. Oh, I wish we could bring the animals onto the freighter. That'd be so much fun having one of Unaki, Unaki or one of her babies running around on the decks while I'm trying to work. That'd be super funny. All right, I have missions in. So let's create a mess first, and then we'll clean it up. Debriefo. Uh, unrefined pyrite grease. Oh yeah, I remember what that is. Boy, we got too much of that. Here, desite, lemium, superconducting fibers. <laughs> Lots of cash money. All right. Let's sell all of that. Sell. There's superconducting fiber and activated cadmium. 
and I need to put the Heart of the Sun away or I'm going to end up having to make another one someday. There's the unrefined pyrite grease. I always forget what that is. Look at this price, plus 78%. It's too bad it's so worthless. <laughs> and that, all right. And that should look relatively like what I left it. And we have another industrial mission. And I'm interested to see if either one of the two babies that were born uh, yesterday have grown at all. And let's see here, let's do this again. Oops, that's not right, there we go. This takes a little bit of concentration why did that get so weirdly out of order? That's funny. Okay, let's look. Let's just look. It's fine. Okay. I don't know why that got so weirdly out of order. So let's go upstairs. Oh, I went up the wrong stair. Now we got to run all the way down to the other end. <laughs> You can see the ultra blue effect uh, in here. Uh, it is a little bit more purple than the planet, um, but uh, it's definitely got a blue, um, intense blue sort of accent to it. All right, there was no bait in there. That is awesome. Someday I'm gonna cook all that meat and sell it all. Uh, because I prefer to make nanites by scrapping ships. And we don't need any of that. I wish I had thought sooner about um, sort of um, looking in the nutrient processor instead of struggling to get um, creature pellets. So if you have a nutrient processor and you haven't looked in, the, in there yet, um, take a look. This stuff is all good for eggs. Um, and this can all go, especially that nine million right there. And I think that there's a GTT in here, although it'd be hard to find, wouldn't it? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, let's see if I can put one up. <laughs> uh, those are all the in-between places. All the places where I can put one are kind of... Um, uh, blocked. So we'll put it here. Oops, and we will delete one of those. There we go. And now let's sell all that. Uh, anything that comes up. There's a portable reactor for four million. 11 million plus 20% on liquid explosives here. This is a good place to sell stuff, man. Um, I definitely do not need Mordite. Obviously, I have an entire container full of it. I need a uh, silicate, and uh, we need to look at uh, building something. Solves that problem. All right, that was that one. Are they separated by that much? That's weird. Oh, that's where the container is that I moved. Okay. Uh, this stuff would be extremely difficult to sell because I'd have to move uh, stuff to my suit. A lot of back and forth there. Um, keeping that, using these up, using those up, 
and we always need paraffinium. Are we carrying it? We have 200. So if for some reason I can't weirdly get uh, something, you know, get my um, Exocraft for some weird reason, let's say, um, then I can make an Exocraft um, Geo Bay and uh, all of this. And I can't get rid of all of it. There's a quantum processor. That's worth a lot of money. There we go. I'm getting rid of all this because I want the room. Uh, I want to be able to store stuff uh, to build up the quantity that I have of it, whatever it turns out to be. See, 4 million units for just one quantum processor. That's pretty good. And we'll look again, and we're clear. And I don't plan on making any more stasis devices. Uh, I can make um, circuit boards if it comes down to it. And that's not the right one. There it is. All right, that's two containers that are completely empty. And the two junk drawers, I can't believe I have two junk drawers. The two junk drawers are completely full as well. And we need, <laughs> we need to start a campaign of sending to, um, sending to HG, to Zendesk, um, to get auto sorting uh, into this summer's update. That would be awesome. <laughs> If we don't start now, <laughs> I think they're actually already in the testing phase because they've asked for uh, big save files. So, see, that's the thing. I don't need this much platinum, and I'd rather just cook it. It's only, it's 35 to 1 for nanites. But, I mean, I'd really rather just cook it than get rid of it. I've used up some hex cores in eggs. Uh, part of what's going on with Unaki's baby is that, yeah, see, I just, whoever wants to go through a junk drawer. That really is a Saturday afternoon, rainy day kind of thing to do. <laughs> junk drawers suck. Uh, let's go uh, to the teleporter. There it is. <laughs> Good grief. Lava put those golden gecks there. Um, this one has a filter. The AI farm is a uh, dangerous refraic. Uh, bird's eye is dangerous because it's on top of a cliff. Dependo is where uh, Wachilla came from. We can get another robot, because I have a base on a planet called Robot Horses. Uh, let's go to Zephyr. Oh, that's so loud. Time for a drink. Holy Hannah. Oh, monster, you gotta settle down on that lemon or I'm gonna have to start watering it down with iced tea again. All right, let's go. Uh, that's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go downstairs. It's nighttime here. There we go. Oh, I can hit this uh, uh, this uh, knowledge stone again. These things reset, uh, especially if you do a lot of galaxy hopping. That's pretty cool. Viking word for what? All right, uh, Naki, uh, Halo, uh, Swanee. 
Hi, Swanee. Oh my God. Swanee has blue eyes, so I think if I had to choose between Unaki and Swanee, I think I'd keep Swanee, especially since Swanee is so easy to get. I mean, Unaki is uh, so easy to get. I would um, choose to keep Swanee. Okay, go have fun. Go look around. <laughs> so cute. It takes them a while to do anything. So, especially uh, the babies. So, oops. So, if you um, are expecting... Let's do a little size comparison there. Swanee is supposed to grow up to be five tenths bigger than mom. And definitely don't want to get him out right now. Uh, Halo. Already have that one. That crazy baby. All right, let's get Halo out. Hi. <laughs> there you go. And once again, as you can see, that patch uh, fixed this. So you, you use ion batteries, which I'm going to waste one. There you go. I don't think that Halo is much bigger today. I'd have to watch the video from yesterday. But we'll get out uh, the shadow of Solar Ripti. Yeah, Solar Ripti is way bigger. Way, way bigger. And I think uh, I've got to get used to these menus. And I think it says 1.1 meter and this one's 1.6 meter. Uh, these are not right because my character is not like three feet tall. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> I think that that creature right there is two meters tall. <laughs> all right, well, all the babies uh, have been born and so uh, you smell different from best creature. Well, it's a beaver, honey. Don't just like, okay, look. Sentinel, I'm warning you. Robots don't particularly like sentinels, man. All right. Um, what was I saying? Uh, oh my God. Brain, where's your brain? Mm. Uh, oh my God. Anyway, they need to fix the height thing. And, um, and uh, the uh, coloring of their names is just their, the color of their names. It has nothing to do with their attitude. The words that they speak, like Euroz was saying roar and OC and Gra and F and all that's in red, that that reflects Euroz's personality, which is aggressive. And uh, Swanee's words uh, are, why are really? Are in sort of a yellow color. And then Halo's words are in green. And that reflects um, their personality. And I'll just show you the, the personality traits here. Um, this one is attentive and placid and mischievous. And uh, this one's attentive and tolerant and dutiful. And this one's um, fierce and compliant and attached. So that is um, what that patch note is talking about. And pointing at the screen doesn't help you at all, no matter what I do. <laughs> so, but you can see uh, that the words that they're using, not their names, but the words that they're using have different colors. And uh, that's what that is all about. And we'll just go ahead and do this again. I think I am partial to the robots. I think they're the best. And um, if I come across a much taller Diplo that isn't squat as a natural creature, I'll probably uh, trade in Unaki and Swanee for that. 
Um, I just grabbed a Diplo because they have a certain set of traits and behaviors that you expect. And I never expected the, the robot creatures to be quite so anti-sentinel. But, you know, I mean, that's freaking awesome. Uh, the last thing I want to say today is a huge, super duper huge congratulations uh, to Lava, whose channel hit 1,000 subscribers uh, Saturday, early Saturday morning. Um, and uh, we're going to have a big, super duper uh, Lava's 1K uh, special on Thursday. And uh, we would broadcast from, from Lava's channel if his internet was stronger. But unfortunately, that part of Australia where he lives, the internet isn't very strong uh, or stable. And uh, so not that my bandwidth is that great, but my internet's much more stable. It's either up or down. It doesn't like sort of waver between, you know, amounts of bandwidth very much. Oh, it's so cute. I think we're keeping Halo. <laughs> but we will go check out Robot Horses Planet uh, tomorrow and um, Maybe uh, we'll um, adopt out the T-Rexes. I hate the word abandon. We'll adopt out the T-Rexes and take a look at that and uh, see if those robot horses are sort of different in their behavior. It's a very different kind of planet. So I want to thank you all so much for coming along. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and please click the like button and have a great day.